Hello, everybody, and welcome or welcome back to Brotato, the arena survival action roguelike itself, but modded, though, because we're going to be checking out the genetically modified Overkill mod once again. Let's combine two characters together, all the positives and all of the negatives, to make a brand new one. Today, by extreme popular demand, and I mean extreme, we are going to be combining the farmer with the farmer to make the super farmer. Let's go for a pruner because it is... Honestly, with the way that Farmer is now, it's the only, like, logical weapon to take with him. And then Danger 5 it is. So, let's get into why this is going to be so stupid. It's an exponentially scaling character where the downside is usually the beginning of the run. But now it's going to scale up so darn fast. Uh, we have 40 harvesting to start out with because uh, it gets doubled. We get harvesting increased by an additional 6% at the end of the wave. So we have an 11% increase on our harvesting every wave. So we sort of start with a free, you know, extra crown angle. One harvesting turns into two harvesting when we pick up a consumable at max health. But the downside is that we don't get any money from enemies. But here's what that also means. It means we don't have to care about enemies. We can get, um, you know, white flag. We can take as many candles as we can. I think it's unique, so one. Uh, but we can get, you know, we can take a 15% enemy down, and it doesn't change how much money we make at all. Uh, bag can be useful because of us killing trees. We can go for luck, but honestly, we do kind of just want to hyper roll for harvesting, if I'm going to be honest. Uh, we don't want to go too far on it here. I'll take the speed up. Yeah, like, I don't really care that much about my kill stats, you know? So we could we could get Peaceful B and tank our stat there for a bit. But Scar's going to be a very, very important one. I, I immediately say no Peaceful B, actually. Um, we got all of our Pruner. It's a support weapon. We got that going for us. We already have 69 Harvesting, and I did not plan that. Oh, my God. Two harvesting, but this is stupid. This is, uh, like, there's some days where there's a bit of a challenge, and then there's days that are going to be like this, where the only challenge of the run is probably going to be, like, the first couple waves, sort of. But not really. Not really. kind of takes the pacifist to a new sort of angle. Uh, I'll take three HP regen for two luck. I'll say sure. Harvesting for sure. I'll take the 4 HP regen. We don't mess with that. But wave 3, we are going to be tunnel visioning. Excuse me? I... Oh, I... <laughs> what? And then there's, of course, there's a pruner on instant roll there. That, I... Uh, that was so strange. I can't remember the last time I've had that. You're supposed to be, like, really likely guaranteed weapon. Cue the comments lying saying, That's what my run looks like every time. No, it isn't. You just remember the couple times it was like that. No. Um, but, alas, wow. That was wild. We are at 125 harvesting already, and it is only going to be picking up like crazy from here. Get a huge boost of money, and we didn't even have to be good for it. It's great. Crit harvesting. I'm, there we go. I just want a ton of the harvesting now. Get the experience gain up. I'll take bag for sure. Uh, wheelbarrow, I'm willing to chance it. All of that just to kind of get our exponential scaling. Trying to be kind of quick in the shops because I have a sneaking suspicion that um, late game, my shops are going to take a very long time. Like a very long time. Unless I wanted to go for a like piggy bank route or something. But, you know, we're just going to start to get so much money interest you know is another angle we could certainly take but i just sounds eh to me right now kill the tree kill the tree kill the tree blah, 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 blah. more harvesting sounds good i do want to take some armor to fix that but i'm down to just wait a bit i'll take some melee damage i'll take some armor uh pruner coffee pruner pruner. I could take claw tree. I just don't care enough. I am going to take fertilizer. It's just early enough for it to be fine, I think. One of the nice things about getting so much money so early is there's a lot of, like, really good common items 
like, I don't know. It's a weird game, balance-wise, for, for items, and I, I'm not, not going to say it's not a bad thing. It's a, it's a good thing. There's some really powerful common items, like, really strong, and I kind of, I like that. Because the amount of change that they can give you for such a cheap price is really, really nice. I can also can't help but notice that some enemies are dropping money. So. Oh. It's a 50%, but it's not, uh, or 100% down, but it's more, what, is it like a half? Having scenario? I'll take the armor to fix my problem here. Pruner eventually goes up to a two times crit, so I will just take this preemptively. Uh, we are maxed out on bag. Pruner. Definitely take a little frog. But we're swimming. We're swimming in money. I'll take sunglasses, I think. 339 harvesting on wave 6. I, I'm not very strong yet. Let me make that clear. This is one of those runs where... I am, uh... I'm not particularly... Like, I have not gotten the reward of my silly brokenness yet. We are going to be broken. We are not broken yet. I'm just continually kicking the can down the road of silly strength. That being said, we are, um, we're a little bit tankier than you might think, seeing just how terribly we took damage uh, a couple waves ago. I do like playing Pac-Man here, just running around getting all the uh, little fruit. Take the eight harvest thing. We're, st we're still in the part of the game where I kind of want to tunnel. Snail is good for us. I'll take sunglasses. It's maybe a bit silly. Dangerous bunny is great for us. Uh, pickup range, I'm going to say I don't really care that much. Wheelbarrow is the reason why I keep on having terrible issues with my armor. But I'm going to take it. 449, like we want to boost that like crazy now, boost that harvesting like crazy now, where it's going to have the most impact. Buying 10 harvesting on wave 7 is exponentially better than buying it on wave, you know, 8 even. These eggs are going to hatch, and I can't really get in there to stop it. You can always leave, uh, the, the strategy here is basically like, when do I take my food? Do I grab it right away and greed for the extra harvest thing? Because, like, the, the less damage I take, the more harvesting I get. I will have at the end of the run. It's just true. It's kind of a weird way that it works. If I pick up food and I'm missing health, I don't gain said harvesting. Oh, my God. Ten harvesting. All right, let's take some, uh, let's take some attack speed. Get the pruner. Good. I don't want Gentle Alien, because I don't really get that much of my money from enemies. So it just doesn't matter that much. Alright, getting some... Getting a lot of mediocre stuff here. I'll take Ritual, I suppose, at this point. I'm desperate. I don't want to take Alien Worm, because I don't want to decrease my uh, my healing that I gain. 37 is a bit steep for a reroll. We move on. Like I said, I'm trying to move past these shops a bit quicker because they're just going to start to take longer and longer and longer. So let's like, you know, snap to it. Okay. 585 harvesting on wave eight. Looking good, looking good. I would like more luck for what it's worth, especially since enemies seem like they can drop stuff. Okay. Okay. Though, I don't know that, um, the money drop probably has nothing to do with the food drops from enemies, right? Our damage is actually getting to be okay. Because the thing is, uh, Pruner, does it scale up in the, like, the utility aspect? Absolutely. That was some shmovement. But it mostly, like, the biggest thing it does is scaling up in, um... Oh my god. I'm not going to take Rip and Tear right now. I'll take it later if it shows up. Bean Teacher's great. I will take Crit now. <laughs> oh my 
god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Now we want a lot of crit. Because we can actually gain money from enemies now. Well, I mean, apparently we can anyways, because it's just like... A hundred... It's weird. It's inconsistent across many different stats in the game. Like, sometimes 100 is, does actually take it to zero and makes it so a stat just can't proc. And sometimes it is just like it reduces it by about two times. I would say this feels like it's reducing it by more than 2x, though, which is fine and legit. Like, I was not expecting anything. Ow. <clears throat> oh boy. Tree. <laughs> I risked it. I risked it. Don't throw. I went for it. I went for it. Okay. <laughs> yes, white flag is actually good. Crit chance huge. I'll take the luck. Crit chance good. Improved tools. We'll, we'll take it. Post, why not? Sad tomato, why not? Uh, black belt, for sure, even though we have the... Oh, gosh. Please do not hit the common. There's piggy bank. I'm just going to get it just to get rid of it. Um, fine. Please don't hit the common anvil. Please don't hit the common anvil. I'm counting on you. All right. But uh, improved tools, I should have popped off a lot more. Like, I kind of just expect... I feel like I find it on every run. So at a run where you have a lot of money, you're going to find it. Um, it increases the... the sp I actually could have been death. The spawn rate of structures. And gardens count as structures. Or increases the attack speed. And technically... The attack of a garden is spawning food. Just like real life. Ow. Actually, danger. We really need to focus on uh, growing ourselves now. We have successfully created stupid econ. We now need to successfully create an actually strong run. Which should be pretty easy to do. But only after taking one more harvest thing and one more luck. 12% damage, that helps. Pruner. Okay, good. It did not hit the common, that helps. I'm gonna take blindfold, common there. Insanity's great. Uh, I'll definitely take cute monkey. Broken mouth works. Sure, take the little frog. Garden, a, f a free garden is great. I could take alien worm, but it just causes some issues. This is a little bit silly, but I'm gonna do it. This is also a bit silly, but I'm going to do it and just kind of hope that we hit the blue. Not that it really matters that much, but my cost effective. I know, but also it's not that bad. Just, it's not that big of a deal. Okay, hold on. Dodge the boss for a moment. We're not very strong yet, but this is the best boss we could have gotten first. That's just how it is. Cut. Cut. I might actually die if I try and go for the kill. That's what I'm learning right here. How much harvesting am I missing out on by risking my life and taking damage here? Huh? 25 left? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if it's worth it. Like... Oh, God. Oh, God. This is messy. Yeah. He's reading me like a book. You see that? I think I'm just going to tap out and not lose the run for an item that will really not change my long-term plan probably that much. Because look at that. Take that for sure. Padding. We get most of our money at the end of the wave, sadly, so this isn't that good. It may seem really good, but you have to think about when we're getting it. Take the armor, take some damage, rip and tear. We could probably take now, and it wouldn't be that big of a deal. I will take more little frog, though, because it's funny. Sure, sure, sure. Our attack speed's pretty good, so we'll go for that. Tractor is obviously going to be a take anyways, though. 
Uh, our dodge is negative, so I will tank that again. Pruner. Oh. It did hit my blue, so that, that did help. God. Fine. You can't... I can't not take tractor, though, right? Like, that's just... We can agree on that. It's just sad that we didn't get the crown, right? Earlier than we, uh, you know, might. That's just the sad thing. Okay. Okay, wave 12. Don't get near the food until we get back to full health. That's why you want all that HP regen. So that we can potentially heal up. Oh, God. Heal up and not waste food that can be used to generate extra harvesting. That's such a satisfying sound. Okay. Oh my god. Ah! Get the tree, get the tree, get the tree. Alright, just let it all come to me. 1600, don't mind if I do. Take all that, 12% damage, great. We can do better. Give me a crit chance, give me some attack speed. Another pruner is irrelevant, mastery is good. Another pruner is good here. Trees, yes. Another hunting trophy. I'm not taking blood donation as much as I would like the harvest thing. Power generator. I sort of sort of might as well. I know I have repose, so like taking a bunch of dodge down, it seems silly, but I buy repose because it is a low buy-in for something that also gives me a stat. It gives me the flat melee damage that I want anyways. So it's like, how could you do this? You have a dodge item. I know, I know. Criminal. 10 har uh, harvesting is so irrelevant. Uh, experience gain is not. The way that it works. Okay, maxed out. Take a healing turret. What's my range? Eh. I don't want to tank my crit chance right now. I just value it too much. There we go. We'll, we'll neutralize our dodge. Ah. Curses. All right, I think we have uh, we've outscaled care. Just now, probably. That, that's my guess. My guess, well, eh, survivability probably leaves a bit, a bit to be desired, like our one-shot protection. Not that we're, not I'm, that I'm saying we're going to get one shot, but like, you know what I'm saying. Our actual, like, flat resistance to damage. Our regeneration is really good. We can get back up to full very easily. But like our, our combo into death combo. Not amazing. Ah, shoot. Ah. Get out of here. Okay, that one I just... You know, whatever. Just kill the tree. Kill the tree. It's technically optimal to pick up the food before the wave because then we get the harvesting immediately. Luck is important. Attack speed is so good. Crit chance until we're at full. Melee damage is great. Insanity black belt for sure. Uh, missiles a maybe. I'll take another hunting trophy. Wait. Can that stack further? I I don't know. I didn't know that you could even get more. I guess I'll take Gentle Alien at this point, too. Uh, sure. Melee and crits. We're at 94. Vigilante's ring on 14. We still can. Wouldn't mind some range up. Silver bullet's incredible. Oh, God, fine. I'll cap, I'll cap myself. I'll, I'll give myself a, a cap here. That was a... Whoa! What was that garbage? It's just like... Actually, I'm just gonna go straight down into you at a million miles an hour. He switched phases and immediately beelined into my, my hitbox. That was some damage. But here's the thing, we also have we have Anvil and we have full legendaries, so from here on out, we are going to be getting two armor every wave as well. 
So we slowly get um, armor scaling as well as a couple different free damage percentage scalings. And we just scale up in our econ like crazy. We're at 2,000 harvesting on wave 14. And we finally got our crown as well. So it's just going to get even stupider from here. Scaling by how much? 19% every wave. 19% more harvesting gain. Every wave. Pick it up now if we can. Crits do percent of their health is... Yeah, that's good. We're going to be critting a lot. Why not? I'll take a bowler hat mostly for the luck. Attack speed is good. Damage is good. Harvesting is good, but I'm just going to say nah. Take some flat armor. I don't think I want to take candle anymore, though. I, I was not anticipating I would get uh, four hunting trophies for whatever it's worth. Can easily transfer some dodge. Uh, we are capped. Did I take generator? I did not. I'll take the next one. There, yep, there it is. Take a gentle alien. Focus on getting some armor, maybe. Uh, poisonous tonic. We are very much over cap on crit now, so we can definitely sacrifice some of it. Speed's good. Bait's good. Alien magic. I'll, I'll take it, even though I do like luck. Tentacle. I've been looking for it. Mouse. Uh, I mean, I can. It's just not really going to be the difference maker. Good deal. Hold off a bit from standing by food if we can. Okay. Good. Now go ham. Bloop, 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 bloop. All the gardens have already spawned two fruit. Oh my god. The attack speed increase and uh, improved tools. It's silly, man. It's silly, man. It's silly. Okay. 2,500 harvesting on wave 15, too. Are we going to be hitting... Uh, I think we're going to be hitting a new cap of harvesting for ourselves, I think. All right. I would assume so. One could only imagine. We're also killing... Like, look at this. We're, we're making so much money in the wave, too, just because of, uh, like, mostly the mass amount of hunting trophies, I guess. Something in damage. 3,000, just like that. A vigilante ring? I can't believe we have this much going on for us, and a vigilante ring is still, like, legitimately impactful. Uh, attack speed first. Tardigrade is ultimately not going to move the needle. I need to fix my range. That helps. Yeah. Let's go with a little bit of that. I, I really don't need to buy harvesting anymore. Any harvesting I buy is not going to move the needle. More bait. More cute monkey, I guess. Ugly tooth. I, I, I'm going to kill bosses too fast. Good. Good. Get Finn. Alien magic. I have 30 luck. I mean, I got what I needed. I, I can actually use repost now. Bean teacher. It, it's still worth it because it, it kind of... The way that it works generally is that it decreases the amount of experience you need to level up. And harvesting gives you materials that can level you up. So basically, it's still worth it because just because of the nature of this specific run. The nature of this specific run means that it'll still be good. The fact that we're doing even this much damage and like, I wouldn't say that I'm really focused on getting like melee damage in the slightest is pretty funny. Like, it's just because we're rich. That's just the whole thing. 
Whoop. That was satisfying. Oh boy. See, that's what I'm talking about. We're just going to get more and more. More experience gain, more attack speed. Uh, crit chance is irrelevant now. Fix my range, just like that. Attack speed, more normal speed, fine. Max HP, fine. Silver Bullet, Bean Teacher, Cyclops Worm, Pikachu. Uh, we'll take Cape. More Garden. Why not? Add it to the pile. Hmm. Hmm. Got some money to spend. We got a lot of money to spend. Whatever. I want, I want the luck, and then we immediately tank the luck. Uh, fine. Another silver bullet. Great. Add it to the pile. Another bean teacher. Add it to the pile. Let's get a potato. Oh, that shouldn't have even rolled there. All right, where are you? Where are you, big boss? I'm gonna need that healing. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> so that was the boss. You'd think we'd, that we were playing speedy right now. Holy. 55 speed up. Quite to the 55% damage up. But yeah, we have how many... Uh, how many bullets, man? So I wonder if hunting trophies stack separately. Like, do we have a 33% chance per hunting trophy now? It didn't used to work that way. It used to just be like, you buy, you get three, and then you have a 100% chance to get it. Well, technically it's 99, but like, I think it evened itself out at 100. Um, does it just not work that way now? Like, what, during that, uh, that like, rip and tear, or the, not rip and tear. Baby elephant and cyberball change? Did it get changed? I don't have projectiles. Damage. Attack speed. Damage. Melee damage. Attack speed. Damage. More. More. Spend. 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 I don't want to tank my range more. Alright, whatever. At this point, whatever. Whatever. Add it to the pile. I'll take some luck. I know that it's a bit eh. I would like to dodge cap myself, but I don't really want to take uh, melee damage down to do so. Range is back in the negative. What else is new? Okay. <sighs> Sad. Could have gotten it earlier and it would have been amazing, amazing. All right. Is this an elite or something? No, right? No. You get two harvesting and one HP up. 4,800 harvesting. Gotta love it, gotta love it, gotta love it. That's a new cap for us, right? I think it is. The fact that I'm not sure is super funny. I played a lot of Rotato. We've done some stupid stuff. We've done some really stupid stuff. There's some weird things that happen, you know, with the infinite character from time to time, and, you know, other combos we had were really, really good. Was it, like, Entrepreneur Farmer? Is that the one I'm thinking of? Technically, this is good, <laughs> so I shall take it. Damage. 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 Attack speed. Damage. I don't care about enemy speed, really. Well, it's gonna... I'm, not, I'm just gonna not buy it because it will be slightly annoying to chase down the final boss. That's my whole reasoning there. Uh, two luck for every crit you have. Great. 
We have so much luck now. Still viable, which is crazy. Take the hoodie. Okay, now our range is really bad. Fix the range there. Peacock. I mean, hey, I'll take it. We definitely can, you know, like, I should be taking padding at this point. On a run like this, you should now be taking padding for sure. I'm taking that literally just for the range. That's where I've, that's what it's come to. Take it for the range. Uh, explosion damage, no matter. Spicy sauce, I mean, I guess so. Sure, take it for the melee damage. A little bit more. I steal. Don't really want to reduce my dodge. Fine, I'll take, there we go. Take, we've taken a padding. It, it reduces my damage ever so slightly. But not really that much. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Want to throw, we could have taken the, uh, <laughs> taking that last item there. This, don't roll. I should have taken a medical turret, I suppose, but I don't really, uh, care. For, for, forgive me for not caring on this run, but I don't think it's going to matter. Bold thought. Probably not going to be relevant. Oh my god, the huge attack speed increase from the hoodie. What's it doing with this down here? God, we've got it so long ago. So 171% uh, cooldown reduction. A guard, All of our gardens are creating fruit every three seconds. So every three seconds we gain, like, so we have six, we have, we have six, and then we have two or three, three extra gardens, three extra gardens, we have nine. Oh my god. Oh my god. Every three, three seconds we gain nine fruit, which means we gain 18 harvesting. 18 harvesting every three seconds, basically, sort of. And then it gets uh, increased more at the end of the wave. Whoop. That's why you still that's why you still take the percentage down on uh, on luck. Uh yeah, we can definitely do that. 20% attack speed, sure. More damage. More HP regen, more attack speed, more damage. Uh more range. Yeah, fix that please. Thank you. 20 luck, why not? More range. Suddenly we have lots of range. Okay, well, now it doesn't make sense. It finally doesn't make sense to get beaten teacher. Um Finally. Okay. We are dodge capped, but hoodie. So, yeah, same deal. Hoodie still technically kind of works a little bit. She's taking that. Oh, well. I don't really care. I think we're going to be fine. Believe it or not, I think we'll be okay. Torture, you really want me to throw... I said I'd take rip and tear. I'll take rip and tear. Trees. Vigilante ring, LOL. Mouse, fine. For kicks and giggles. I just realized I hadn't... I just realized now that I hadn't gotten a community support. It's not going to matter. I have like 500 attack speed, but whatever. I'll take it. Uh, I'm crit capped. I can definitely remove this. Yeah, we have 118. It's actually a pretty good item for us when we're crit cap like this. Don't need luck that much. Plastic explosive I'll take for the um the silliness of our food explosion. I could have taken the dynamite as well to go with it, but I eh. Octopus. A hey, we're crit capped, so. We're <laughs> being crit capped after octopus and metal. Oh, that feels so good. Another silver bullet. That's Probably my favorite thing we could see. Bloody Hand is going to single-handedly increase our damage by uh, more than 164%, actually. 621% damage out there. Oh, my. All right. So, basically, the difficult thing will be finding the bosses. All right. 8,926 harvesting on that run right there. Pretty good. That is pretty good. That is pretty strong. 
Alas, alas, that is that. This game do you for today. That went exactly how I thought it would. A little bit sketchy as I pushed my luck for for nine waves. Uh, like, sketchy around the 8, 9, 10, 12. Like, 10, 12-ish at the latest. Those waves were a bit scary. And then, you know, it just kind of... It just snowballs past the point of anything that the game tries to balance. Because <laughs> it's not going to be normal. Uh, but you can kind of get that on some some regular runs. I feel like you can outscale care sometimes, but it's a it's a delicate balance, and I think all the characters are relatively balanced. Um, but hey, alas, alas, that's that. That's gonna do it for today. If you have any suggestions for combos you'd like to see double ups on the same character or two characters mashed together, let me know in the comments down below. Obviously, some of them don't work. Double one arm does not work. Uh, let me just I'm gonna just do this real quick so you can see what I'm talking about. One out of negative four, uh, so people know what I'm talking about. You cannot buy, when your arm or your weapon cap is one out of negative four, you know what happens. No weapons show up in the shop because they're like, oh, this guy can't hold weapons. Uh, so, you know, it, it's basically just there are uh, some things that don't work. Let me know down below what you'd like to see, though. Thank you. Thank you. And I will see you next time. Bye.